there was a boy in Tibet. One fine morning, Sunaji came out of his house. He saw an unusual bird flying majestically in the sky. But as he looked more closely, he realized it was a man flying like a bird. So he kept searching and scratching and he kept scanning that man's descent. And he zoomed on, oh yes, he's descending in this particular village. He goes to that village, identifies the house where he hails from, the elderly person. But the elderly person refuses to say that I was the one who was flying. Nevertheless, he had the hunch. He looked at him again and again and begged him, please teach me how to fly. So with his insistence, the elderly man was quite pleased. He says, all right, let's begin. It will take you about 10 to 14 years to learn all these things. As the years passed by, the boy dutifully served his teacher until one fateful day on the full moon night, the teacher imparted to him the knowledge of how to fly like a bird. He asked the boy to put this knowledge into action by meditating at midnight when the full moon is right above his head. Then he added one caveat, that only rule for this technique to work is that you are not allowed to think about monkeys during that meditation. Overjoyed with that knowledge, boy left for home. As he walked, he thought to himself, why would I think of monkeys? I have never seen one in my life. I will not think about monkeys. And in this way, his train of thoughts continued. Later that night, when the boy sat in for meditation, all his focus and thoughts were on how not to think on monkeys. So the moment came and when an opportunity was lost. Trying to avoid thinking or doing something is always counterproductive. You may want to change yourself and free yourself from an unpleasant trait. But if you focus on it too much, you'll find it difficult to move away from it. It reinforces. It's like trying not to think of monkeys. <laughs> they just keep on coming in your mind. A better way is to focus on the positive because that which receives your attention becomes empowered. It gains momentum from your attention that is in your hands.